TJ, what was what was going on there in the handshake line with you and Coach Tang? Yeah, I mean, um, again, a, certainly a hard-fought game on both ends. Um, got a lot of respect for their program, and I think you know there's a there's a point in time where things are said between coaches that need to stay that way. So um, that's where we're going to keep it. But um, again, hard-fought game on both sides. You know, a lot of respect for what they did, and um, just fortunate to come out with the win. What was your thoughts about the intensity of not only the game, but intensity of the crowd as well? Yeah, I thought the crowd was tremendous. Uh, definitely gave us energy and inspiration at times we needed it. Um, felt like a lot of times in that second half, uh, you know, we'd, we'd have liked to have been more out in front of plays than we were. We were just a little bit late, maybe a step slow. And um, I feel like the crowd's energy and enthusiasm really helped propel our guys. So we are very, uh, you know, it's very humbling. We're very grateful to be able to play in front of such a great fan base that gives us that energy on a night where we probably aren't at our best. And they help, you know, push us through those tough times. Looked like there was another interaction between you and Jerome earlier, other than the handshake line. What was the situation there where it looked like he maybe crossed half court to address you? Yeah, again, like I said, there's there's things that happen during the game um, that we're going to leave there, but you know that are said or done. And um, to me, it's just two coaches who are high level of intensity. The game was intense. The coaches were intense, and uh, we're going to leave it where it was at. And anything about the game, we'll talk about that. They had a couple of probably a half a dozen maybe chances to take the lead in the second half and never did. What? What did that do for your guys to never let that completely slip? Yeah, I think mentally it's so important that um, you know you don't relinquish that lead because I think your confidence, as long as you're out in front or you know that they don't get over that hump and take the lead, is is on you know you feel one way. And the same for them because at some point they battle back and, and take the lead. Now they have more confidence. So it's important on both sides that you know we bent but we didn't break. And we found a way to get stops when we had to get them to make sure we never put ourselves in position we were playing from behind. TJ, what are your thoughts on Milan tonight? And especially you know, when the outcome was kind of on the line. Yeah, no, he's obviously, we've, we've seen him. He loves the big moment. And you know when he had the, the foul shots and you know saw it go through three times, and, and then you just know his confidence. He doesn't need a whole lot usually to get going. He's got a lot of belief, and he works tremendously hard uh, for that confidence. So again, uh, proud of him for it, proud, proud of our guys for continuing to look for him and, and find him and, and get him those opportunities. But uh, I know that he loves the big moment, and he continues to step up, and it's great to see. Milan said he thought the shot of the game was Kurt's three-pointer that gave you a two-possession lead after Keyshawn got the offensive rebound. How would you describe what that play meant because it stayed two possessions and up after that. Yeah, that was a huge play. I mean, and again, shoot, you mentioned Keyshawn, and, and there was probably, there was certainly nobody that made more toughness, gritty plays in that game than Keyshawn in terms of charges, loose balls, rebounds, and then none bigger than that one. And I would agree with, with Milan that that basket gave us a lot of confidence. The uh, the crowd exploded, and our guys, you know, again, we had some margin at that point, so uh, that was really big. You talked about, you know, the importance of getting timely stops when an opponent is trying to make a comeback like they were, but at the same time, what's the importance of getting timely baskets, whether it's Keyshawn getting a steal in an and one, or Curtis's big shot at the end, or Milan's big shot at the end? Because those are just important about keeping a team at distance. Yeah, they are, and I think when we got some momentum there, you know, we're able to separate late. So certainly it's important. You know, how we build our mindset and our mentality is that, you know, we get to that late part in the game and we're going to string together a bunch of stops. And we also know that whether it's off a turnover or a long rebound, that's when we're at our best offensively. So I think those two go hand in hand. Uh, where we like to focus our mental uh, attention is on the details defensively, finishing plays on the glass, and then that turning into offense. So I, I feel like our guys, you see a lot more confidence when we're able to do that job than when we're at a point in the game where it feels like baskets are being traded. TJ, what what were you expecting to get out of Taman tonight and your thoughts on his overall game, please? Yeah, I mean, Taman's a warrior. I mean, just, you know, again, he's as tough as they come. You know, certainly wasn't his best game uh, by any stretch, but um, 
he's a guy that, you know, in those type of games where they're physical, uh, he finds a way to make enough plays. I think for him, you know, having been out for a week, there's probably, you know, not the same rhythm that he normally has. So, um, you know, I was hoping to play him not quite as many minutes as we did. Uh, I communicated with him through the game, and, and he felt like from a cardio standpoint, he was he was in a good spot. He's such a winner. He's hard hard to take him out of the game. I, I probably a lot of times think that wanted to play him a few minutes less, but then when it gets down to it, man, you want him on the floor when it's winning time. Keyshawn's 13 rebounds. What's What does that say about what he was able to do tonight? Well, we've seen the games from Keyshawn where he's helped us winning by – getting to the basket, making plays, scoring the basketball. We've seen him have big assist numbers. Today, um, I mean, it was just one of those big 12. It was a physical game. And it it needed, you know, to the toughness he brought. I mean, he drew seven fouls. He took three charges. He has 13 rebounds. It felt like he was everywhere on the court. He took some shots, too. And, and – Man, I'm I'm probably more proud of him tonight than any of the performances because this this one, he had to do it in the face of a lot of adversity and a lot of challenges and a lot of things that didn't go our way or go his way, and it showed a lot about his character and his resolve. So, um, just man, he's he's a heck of a competitor, and that showed up for us tonight. Curtis has kind of elevated his game as the season has progressed, but it seems like in these past two games he's really taken a step forward. What did you see from him tonight, and where has that growth kind of come from? You can just tell he's more confident out there. He's hunting his shot more, which we want him to do, being more aggressive. I think, you know, his impact offensively, he does a great job moving the basketball. Um, you know, and then from the guard position, uh, He's a guy that generates a lot of steals. You know, uh, he's got size. He finds a way to rebound. So I thought tonight, particularly him getting to his floater, him hitting some big shots for us at times where we really needed him. And so he, you know, I think there's such a thing as when you get into Big 12 play for anybody that hasn't been through it before, there's a little bit of an adjustment. But it's great to see him continue to elevate his game. Um, and again, everything tonight, it was it was so important and so impactful and just. You know, proud of the job he did. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.